Pop up, pop, 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 persuadable. What's going on, boo boos? You know, today I am very, very thankful. I know I've been going from YouTube for a little bit. I apologize for that. You know, you know why I'm thankful? I'm thankful because I was able to get out of bed. I was able to brush my teeth. I was able to take a shower. I was able to uh, get dressed. I was able to comb my hair. I look handsome today. <laughs> you might be like, well, why are you thankful about that? Well, let me tell you something. These things are very complex. These are very, very complex things. They took you a long time to learn these things as a kid. It, it took you six months of your life just to learn how to sit up. You were a baby. You wanted to explore this world. So you, you, you learned how to sit up. And then because the world intrigued you, it inspired you. You, you started to learn how to even put weight on your forearms and you learned how to start reaching. And uh, when you were a baby, you couldn't even move your fingers. And before you know it, you started reaching for things at two, three months, trying to grab them. Next thing you know, you're starting to stand on a table and you can't really move too much, but you can stand still. Then you can learn how to pick up a toy while standing next to a table because you, you can't really walk just yet. When you were a baby, you, you fought. You fought so incredibly fucking hard because you wanted to explore this world. And because you wanted to explore this world, explore things around you because you were curious. That's, that's what being a human is. That's what being alive is. You started to learn how to control your shoulders and your elbows. You started to learn how to use your fingers to, to grab things. You went from being able to pick up finger food to one day being able to manipulate a fork. And then you got even better. When you were one years old, you started being able to hold one, one and a half, a, a crayon or a pencil with, a, with a, a really clenched fist. And then it, it, you started to learn how to use a pencil and paper and uh, it, it took you up until four and a half, five and a half years, some of you even longer to hold a pencil. Some of you don't even hold a pencil anymore, but you found a way to do it because that's what you needed to do in order to succeed in school. Your entire lives are based on exploration. And that's how your shoulders and your body was able to coordinate. When you turned five, you, you started learning uh, even, even to a better ability how to bounce a tennis ball and catch it with hand-eye coordination. I mean, it, it, all of this takes an incredible amount of skill. So to learn how to dress yourself took years of practice that didn't just happen. Learning how to brush your teeth and to be able to squeeze the toothpaste with, with proper hand-eye coordination so it doesn't miss the toothbrush and to remember cognitively how long you're supposed to brush for took practice. Your ability to feed yourself took years. And when we get busy in this everything, everyday life of just automated, I'm um, in the go to work, come home, feel underappreciated at your job, not getting paid enough, worried about bills. God damn, everyone's yelling at each other about politics right now. Families are getting broken up. Childhood friends can't even talk. We forget to appreciate how much effort, how much practice it took for you to do these things. And when you start to fail, and when you start to forget how to do these things, or you lack the motivation to do so, it can affect your mental health. It can affect you. you. Don't feel like you're taking good care of yourself. I'm thankful that I woke up this morning and brushed my teeth and combed my hair and took a shower because I've had too many patients who have had to deal with that inability of doing so even if only temporary. You get an illness, you get sick, you have a hip surgery, you have a stroke, you have a heart attack. You go to the hospital, now you have to rely on people like me to help stand you up. You're going back to the basics again. You need somebody like me to help you pull your arm back to try to wipe yourself because you can't remember how to move your shoulder. You have somebody like me who's helping you reach and grab for that toothpaste because you lost the ability to, to really control your shoulder and the ability to utilize objects in your hand. You lost that fine motor strength because of a neurological deficit. 
when you get older, when you get older, when these things start to go a little bit, you will miss them immeasurably. And it will take you a lot of work and effort again. That's my entire career. My entire career is for us to put that effort, that energy, just like you did when you were a baby, just like you did with a child. You just need a little bit of help from me and we retrain your body to get it back. And I can assure you that I don't want to be somebody that lives in this world that doesn't appreciate these little tiny things. Because when I really reflect, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good that I have some sort of power and control in my life. It makes me feel good when I have the ability to take care of myself, especially with mental health, right? Especially if you have depression, anxiety, you know you need to brush your teeth, but you just don't have the energy to do so. Or I'll brush my teeth after coffee and breakfast, but you don't do it. Oh, I'll take a shower later. Next thing you know, it's nighttime. I'll take one in the morning. Ah, I don't need to comb my hair. I'm just going to put a hat on. I get lazy days, ladies and gentlemen, but the way that we take care of ourselves is important. And you know what else is important to me is that you all take care of yourselves as well. I'm thankful that I woke up with the ability to do these things because one day there may be a day where I don't have the ability to do these things. Whether cognitively, whether emotionally, whether physically. And it makes me appreciate the fact that I can do this right now and it reminds me that I worked my ass off in my life to be able to do these basic things and that if I was able to acquire the ability to do these complex things, all of which we just spoke about, not only do you, but you have the ability to overcome obstacles. Every single day you fell down trying to stand up. You tried to do everything in your power to roll over on your belly at one point in your life. It was the only goal in your mind. You were able to overcome obstacles all throughout your life. And you still have the ability to do it today. And by being mindful, by, being, by reflecting on the tiny things that you have now, that's not going to erase your problems. We're not trying to erase your problems right now. We're trying to be realistic and look at the things that we have that we can do and that we're capable of doing. Because if you're capable of doing them, then you're capable of so much more. The journey doesn't end. It doesn't have to end for you. And that's a very, very important concept. You have been a fighter. You have worked your entire life learning how to do different things. Learning how to get better and better at being able to do complex matters. It, it started with your ability just to take your jacket off for your mom or dad or whomever your guardian was. And it got so complex at the age of five where we were expecting you to button small tiny buttons with your fingers and to manipulate all of those muscles in your hand. I mean, you worked on that for five years. You worked on that. And you did it. But you got so much more that you can do. Take good care of yourselves. All right? Because when we, it, whether you're social, whether you're not social, whether you're introverted, whether you're extroverted, it, does, it doesn't matter. When you talk to that little tiny voice in your head that's your conscious, that's you, that is the one thing that you will always talk to the most. That, that is there forever. That's you. You're, that's what your conscious is. That is your thought. That is the beauty of who you are. So take good care of it. And take good care of you. I genuinely mean that. Because you have been able to do amazing things in this life. At one point, you couldn't even pick up an object. And then you learned how to pick them up and stack them and then stack them higher and stack them higher. It took years. We look at it as, oh, it's just a baby putting little cubes on top of each other. That's a baby that's building. And that's what you all need to keep doing. Keep building yourselves. You got this. You are allowed the days where you feel like you're stuck in a rift. But I promise you, 
If you have the ability to have the down days, you have the ability and the right to have up days. And it starts with taking good care of yourself. Don't forget how to do that. It starts with that. Because if you can take good care of yourself, it won't get rid of everything. There's a lot of other things that we need to do. We are not that simple. But it's a good start. And you deserve that. And don't you fuck with anyone who doesn't make you feel that way. feel like this is a good YouTube video to come back with, right? <laughs> feel like it's a good entryway. I'm very thankful that I could take care of myself today. I hope you take care of yourself. We all have flaws. We all have demons. We, none of us are perfect. But honestly, I ain't your friend because I want you to be perfect. I'm your friend because I'm rooting for you that you're trying to become a better person, to be a better person, primarily for yourself. You guys all have a good day. Bye now. Love you.